Tonight in a story you'll see only on 10 Tampa Bay, the woman attacked by her kid's father is talking to us about what happened. The stabbing led to a chaotic scene that involved a police chase that ended with her attacker being shot and killed by police after he fired at them. That woman spoke exclusively with 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido, who joins us now with more on her story of survival. And Carolina, it is really a miracle that this woman is still alive today. Her name, Crystal Bresnahan, I just spoke with her moments ago. She tells me she has 18 cuts to her body, 13 of them serious stab wounds. We do want to warn you that some of the images that you will see and what she's going to explain is going to be hard for you to watch. She's undergone several surgeries at Tampa General Hospital after this happened, the last one just yesterday. Take a look at Crystal. She is a 29-year-old mother of four. You can see her here with her kids. Three of them she had with her husband, Michael Bresnahan. Bresnahan. She tells me she had just made the decision to leave the marriage before this happened Monday afternoon. She was trying to get away from him when she was outside of a domestic abuse shelter. When police say he attacked her in front of her kids, here's what she had to say about that moment. Like I just, I looked at him, I looked down, blood is squirting out. I looked back up at him and like after a couple seconds, he just starts stabbing me over and over um, and over again. The minute that I saw someone rushing out of the building next to the shelter to help me, I, my body, I just collapsed, you know, and still thought I was going to die. I couldn't breathe. Now, after the stabbing, police say 33-year-old Michael Bresnahan dropped his three children off at his brother's home before stealing his brother's AK-47 and avoiding the cops. He then led Tampa police on a chase through downtown Tampa. Police say he later crashed into a blue sedan at the intersection of North Florida Avenue and East Gladys Street before getting into a shootout with police, which you're seeing on camera right now. Police say the 33-year-old died after shooting himself despite 18 officers firing at him. An autopsy is still pending there tonight. Now, Crystal, she is brave. She tells me she's been given a second chance at life. She spoke to me because she wants to be a voice for anyone who might find themselves in a similar situation. She did ask me to tell anyone who is in this situation to please speak up, ask for help. It took her eight years to make that decision herself. She wishes she would have done it sooner. You're going to hear more of her story tonight at six and on Nightside. In the newsroom, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay. So incredibly brave of her to speak up and to talk. There's so many people that need to hear those sort of stories and have someone like her.